Hey there, it is Sunday, September 21st, 2014, and we've got another Johnny Lightning for you. Uh, yet again, we just pulled another one out of the box, and this one is pretty sweet. There you go. It's part of the Super Chevy line. It's the uh, 66 Malibu, the Chevy Malibu, in yellow. <clears throat> so there it is on the card. Got like a little, uh, apparently that's probably what it looked like on the magazine cover. And on the back... Just got all our typical Johnny Lightning. Um, let's see, when was this? Um, when did this come out? Made in China, which we know. Oh, 99. So, again, Super Chevy. It's got, uh, as they say, authentic rubber wheels, or real wheels, and series rubber tires. Ooh, die cast metal. Body and chassis. Let's crack it open. <clears throat> Here's the little card it comes with. So, again, I, I imagine that's what it looked like on the magazine cover. Ugh. This one does not have an opening hood, which is awesome because I don't really make sure it doesn't open. No, it definitely doesn't open. So there we got uh, all metal chassis, although it's so shiny it looks plastic, but it is metal. Rubber tire with tread. Let's move our light a little bit. Tires are a little bit fat for the uh, the scale, but whatever. All chrome grill. Now the headlights are painted, and you've got your turn signals that are painted as well. I do like the tire and uh, wheel combo. Of course, you got all the famous Johnny Lightning, you know, painted door handles in the back. We got the bumper, which yeah, it's the same color as the chassis, but painted tail lights. Got the little Malibu in the back. Of course, we got trim around the windows, all that good stuff. And just plain black interior. Of course, a pretty nice yellow paint job. Let's stick it on the the little turntable of doom here. Okay. Zoom in a touch, touch more, touch more, touch more. There we go. Make sure we got her all centered. And there she be. Again, the wheels are kind of a little too fat, but cool far nonetheless. I'll pick another one out of the box here. Another random one. We'll do two in this video. Just, uh, just to do two. What the heck? Hmm. I'm not really well. Eh, no, I like this one because I like the product. Shouldn't, but I do. Let that spin for a little bit longer. This package on this one is really, really mangled. There's that. We'll zoom back out. And here is number two. There you go. And this is what, an 83, I think? Yeah, 83 Cutlass Supreme, Oldsmobile. Coke. I'm kind of a Coke fan. Shouldn't like it. Not real good for you. But uh, kind of my drink of choice besides water. This is from 2005. Calendar 2005 cars. And it comes with a little card that is a calendar of January 2005. Of course, uh, the car itself with uh, all the, the Coke isms on there. Uh, the back of it kind of just gives you the cars in the series. This is a pretty, pretty rough package here. This is a little calendar. Obviously, 2005 has come and gone nine years ago. So, those dates won't mean anything. Alright, we will all this junk out of the way. And like most of the Johnny Lightnings, Metal chassis, rubber tire with tread, again, kind of fat tires. Does this have an opening hood? Uh, no, it does not. Good. <clears throat> so on the front there, focus. Come on, you can do it. There we go. Painted headlights, grill, bumper, side markers. And of course you got Coke is it. But you got the Wheel well trim, all the trim around the windows. Coke is in on the hood, the back. Painted taillights, painted bumper. 
Again, the bumper is a different color than the chassis. Of course, your side markers in the back. All that good gooba gooba stuff. Uh, the paint on this one is not too great. Look at all that uh, bubbling in it. Crappy paint job. This might be a candidate for a repaint. Because <clears throat> I do like the car. I don't necessarily like the Coke on it, but I do like the car. We'll see. I don't have this, uh, I don't think in any of my, or any Cutlass, or in any of the, uh, in my collection. Yeah, it's in the Cutlass Supreme. I thought it was. I had to look at the package to make a double sure. <clears throat> now, when I was a kid, which I was in high school in the 90s, but this was still one of the cars to have. I didn't necessarily like it. I do now. Then I didn't. Actually, my first car was a Ford Escort GT. I loved that car. Then I uh, ended up getting a mini truck after that and uh, regretted selling the Escort. And oddly enough, I've seen some mini trucks since. That was a uh, an odd phase to be in with uh, stereos and all that good stuff. So, anyway, enough about that. There it is. If you have any questions or comments, post those below. Hopefully, uh, we'll just continue weekly. Like, uh, it seems like I'm going to be on a better routine. But, uh, you know, that remains to be seen. Anyway, questions or comments, post those below. Subscribe, and thanks for watching.